38,9 Prozent beschlossen hat. It was a long battle, but at last the left party has a new platform. Its plan to create a better world and its analysis of the obstacles to be overcome. First, the financial markets. Before the conference, the party held a demonstration outside a bank in Erfurt and said how it would solve the financial crisis. The left party program is quite clear. It can't go on like this. Banks that refuse to fulfill their duties in society and instead gamble people's money away must be nationalized. The Constitution says expropriation shall only be permissible for the public good. Dear comrades, let us apply the Constitution. The ideas of Rosa Luxemburg and those of other heroes of socialism are clearly evident in the new platform. It doesn't aim to do away with the market economy completely, just with capitalism and the wealthy. We're fighting for a new economic order, with the central issue being property. We want an economy in which those whose labor creates wealth also decide what is done with it, not heirs to companies, private equity locusts or hedge funds. The party can applaud such simple and radical demands, but behind the scenes, the various factions still disagree about a number of issues. For example, does the party's no to war rule out any German role in military missions? We don't have a convincing answer to the question of what should be done if hundreds of thousands of people in Rwanda are murdered. I say no to authorizing wars on a case-by-case -case basis. The country does not need a fifth pro-war party alongside the SPD, the Greens, the FDP and the CDU. The quest for a platform is also the search for a unified identity. The left has multiple routes. In 1990, after the end of communist East Germany, its old ruling party gave itself a new name and new leaders. But these leftists never really distanced themselves from their past. Some leading members had even served the East German secret police. In Western Germany, a new left-wing party set up in 2004 protested against sharp cuts to the welfare state. Oscar Lafontaine became its leader. He had been leader of the SPD before becoming its harshest critic. He oversaw the fusion of Western and Eastern parties to create the Left Party. Though it established a presence across United Germany, major electoral successes never materialized. The various factions were preoccupied with rival strategies and worldviews. We agree on content more than any other party. But when it comes to ideology or history, it gets a bit tricky. Now, the left party is hoping to benefit by endorsing Occupy, the grassroots movement that's critical of the banking industry and the financial markets. The new platform has words of solidarity with the street protests. Occupy may agree with the left party in its criticism, but it doesn't back it. We want to achieve results by means of a democratic process. Rather than adopt specific positions, we want to occupy public spaces and launch debates there. All kinds of different people come together and start to develop a common agenda. That is a different kind of process, not to be compared to the logic by which parties operate. Parties need votes, and to win some, the left party will have to present a unified front. The new platform required compromises, for example, on the issue of pacifism. When debate erupted about whether the platform might, after all, offer loopholes to back some military missions, Lafontaine cut it short. My name is Oscar Lafontaine. The founding father has remained a force to be reckoned with. We must unite the party. I ask you to vote in favor of the compromise. When it comes to possible loopholes in the platform, you can trust me. The current co-leaders have been much criticized, but it's not clear who should replace them, nor is it clear how the party's plans might ever be implemented. We can only implement policies that have majority backing. But as long as the other parties stick to their positions, order will not be restored in the banking sector.
it looks like the left will, for the most part, be talking to itself. The platform seemed to garner praise more for its radicalism than for the feasibility of its policy proposals.